I hope everyone had a great summer. Summer is about breaking routines and letting kids uh, relax and chill but we also have to get ready for back to school. And if you're like my family, chances are your nighttime sleep routines have been a little off kilter and we now gotta get kids back into September routines. You cannot do this on Labor Day weekend in a couple of days. It's gonna take you a little bit of time. So here's my strategy for that. The first thing is you gotta figure out how much sleep your kids actually need. So if you've got kids between seven and 12, they're gonna need roughly 10 to 11 hours of sleep a night in order to face the school day. So you know what time they need to wake up in the morning to get ready and to get out the door, whether it's to grab the bus or to walk or whatever. I don't know what time you need to leave the house, but you need to do a work back schedule based on 10 to 11 hours for seven to 12 year olds. If you've got older kids, they need 10, nine hours. So first think about the amount of sleep, what time they need to be going to bed and think about what time they're going to sleep. Now you can move their good night tuck in time by about five to 15 minutes a night. That's it. You can't make a bigger swing than that. It takes, it's too hard on the body for the circadian rhythms. So do that calculation. Some of you need a week, some of you need three days, some of you should have started a month ago, I don't know. But figure out that calculation. And then the second thing is, leading up to that, as you're getting ready for school, start creating that routine. The routine of going to bed actually tricks the mind. It realizes, hey, you know what? Every day we have a bath, we read a book, we sing a song, we turn out the lights. And as soon as it starts the beginning of that sequence, it will start to release the hormones and start to get itself prepared for sleep. And the more ritualistic you can make it, the better. And I get that summer is all about doing things different every night and I love that freedom, but get that routine established again. And of course, and I know you know this, but I'll say it again, no tech, we don't want the blue light. We do not want the pinging dopamine receptors from notifications going off. Park the tech and uh, do something else for your wind down routine before bed. Good luck, school's a coming.